This lesson will show you how to find subjects and verbs in sentences. The first thing to do is read the sentence. Look at the first sentence. The plane flew. To find the subject, ask who or what. So in this case, what flew? The answer is plane. So plane is your subject. And since plane is a noun, we'll call it the subject noun and label it SN. To find the verb, we ask did what? So the plane did what? The answer is flew, so flew becomes our verb, and we will label it V for verb. The last word, the, is an article adjective. There are three of them, a, an, and the. There are no questions to ask for article adjectives. We just memorize the three, and any time we see one of them, we label it a for article adjective. The last thing that we do is find our subject and our verb and draw a line between them. This will help us out down the road when we're looking for complete subjects and complete predicates. All right, let's try the second sentence. A dog barked. What barked? Dog. So the answer to the what question is our subject noun. Then to find the verb, we say a dog did what? Barked. So barked is our verb. A is an article adjective, so we label it A. Find your subject and your verb, draw a line between them. Look at the last sentence, she snorted. Who snorted? She. Now, if you'll notice over here, we have something called subject pronouns, which we label SP. And subject pronouns answer the same two questions, what and whom, that a subject noun answers, except for it is a pronoun, which is a word that takes the place of the noun. We have seven subject pronouns listed there. I, he, we, she, they, it, and you. And any time you see one of these seven words, you'll label it SP for subject pronoun. To find the verb, we'll say she did what? The answer is snorted, so snorted is our verb. Just like we do with subject nouns and verbs, we're going to find our subject pronoun in our verb and draw a line between the two.